Welcome back to the channel guys, I got my favorite rifle here today. Today we have the MP15 Sport 2. It's an AR styled rifle from Smith & Wesson, and the asking price listed on their website is going for about $800, but if you go into any decent gun shop, you can find them as cheaper, you know, as cheap as $600, $700. It really depends on where you find this rifle. And with that cheaper price, it puts the rifle on the cheaper side of the spectrum. But this rifle is a great starting rifle for any AR enthusiasts. And honestly, to take it off script here, this rifle has done me well. I've had no issues with it. And of course, since it being an AR, it has a great modability. And honestly, you can just run this stock and you would have no issues. Honestly, I think ARs should be something that a household should own. Before I go ahead and start talking about the upgrades that are currently on this rifle, I want to go ahead and talk about the stuff that's already stocked with the rifle when you first buy it. If you buy the Optics Ready one, it comes with a GT Optic, which is not very good. That's why I swapped it. To start out things, it's about a 35 inch long rifle. It weighs about 404 ounces, I think I rated it at. The barrel length is 16 inches and it's made out of 4140 steel. The barrel twist is one and nine inches, which is, it's pretty standard for most AR style rifles shooting 556 or 223. The, all the furniture is polymer. I really don't like the handguard. I'm about to swap that out for a quad rail. And honestly, just swap out the furniture. It looks like trash, honestly. In traditional fashion, we're going to start from top to bottom. This is the Sig Sauer Romeo 5. Its asking price is about $168, and in my personal opinion, you should never skip out on your optics in terms of price. It is the thing that's going to make or break it. You have to have a decent rifle optic, or you're not going to be able to hit your targets consistently. And for some specs, we're going to go ahead and start with the weight. The weight's about 5.1 ounces, and the reticle has a 2 MOA red dot. It has two options for night vision capabilities as well. Because this rifle when purchased was an optics ready rifle, meaning it did not have any iron sights that came with the rifle, in fact it just only had a red dot, every person that has a quote unquote optics ready rifle should almost always have iron sights just in case your red dot fails. The deployability of these things is insane because you can just flip them up and down with a button. These are the Magpul and Bus sights. These are probably the most common sights you'll see for people who can't really afford steel ones because let's, get, let's face it, these are about 15 bucks a pop. But nonetheless, they are cheap, reliable, durable, and they've held their zero for about six months now, and I've had absolutely no issue with the Magpul and Bus sights. The stock that replaced the one that came with the rifle is the Magpul CTR carbine stock, mil spec. It is a very reliable stock. The button in the middle right there can release it, and then the button on the very inside of the rifle is what locks it in. That allows it to not get snagged or anything that could cause issues out in the field. I replaced the annoyingly loud buffer spring for the Gen 2 silent captured spring from JP Enterprises. This particular spring is to make it, your rifle even quieter, and it does a fantastic job. It's going for about 140 bucks on their website. For the charging handle, I have the Radian Raptor SD ambidextrous charging handle. It's silencer optimized, that's why it has these ports on the side, so you don't get any you know, unwanted gases in your face when you're shooting. It's going for about $119 on their website. I replaced the standard bolt that came with the MP for the Fostec Low Mass Bolt Carrier Group that is nickel boron coated, and it's very kind of expensive, at least for me. It's going for about $250 on their website. But because it is low mass, it also helps in reducing the recoil. It is very durable. I've had this thing for a couple months now. I have to get some more shooting time in it to make sure I know everything about it. But I do know that this thing is either 223 or 300 blackout, which is pretty cool. I replaced the stock MP15 pistol grip for the Magpul Myad Gen 1 kit. This particular kit comes with CLP bottle, interchangeable parts that allow for more comfort, and the stipling is pretty good. This 
particular pistol grip is really good for anyone that wants to buy a more cheaper but really reliable and durable pistol grip for your rifle. There are definitely better pistol grips out there besides the Myad. And here are the lovely sounds this AR makes with all those upgrades. <laughs> 